Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me and this is for the last full week of August, August 23rd through August 29th. And actually it's the very last weekly spread in this book because in case you're new, hi, welcome. Um, and you don't know, my books for 2021 are divided in three because I smushed together, I uncoiled and recoiled both a daily duo set and a weekly vertical so that each of my books is a combination of the two, but that means that I could only fit four months at a time. So this is the last one in this book. Next week I'll be moving into the third and final book of 2021. And the flip through for July, is it July? Yes, July, August, and September will be coming out in October. So what that means is that I come back and I show you all my completed spreads for the last three months, which, you know, that includes the photos that I put into the spreads and my deco and all of that good stuff. But before that can happen, we have to put down the foundation, right? And that's what I do on this channel every Monday is I do these plan with me videos where I show you guys the naked spread and I put down kind of the skeleton for all of the stickers that I'm going to add throughout the week. Speaking of weekly plan with me's, I was this close to just not pre-recording this one and doing it live instead on a Monday morning. Um, or on this Monday morning, I should say. When you're seeing this, <laughs> when it's gone live or when it's gone up, I would be doing it live then instead. The nice thing about doing something like that for me is that I don't have to edit the video because I'm going to be doing it live in front of whoever happens to be watching at the time. And then if you happen to miss the live broadcast, you can just come back and watch the video afterwards. The bad thing about that, of course, is that I can't edit. So if something goes wrong, it's staying in forever. But also, the last time I did a live, which was a lot of fun, the chat was very active and I liked being able to talk back and forth with the people that were watching and answer any questions right there on the spot and so on. But if I were to do a plan with me that way, I would do it on a tablet and the tablet would be facing down looking at the book. So I would not be able to see what's being said in the chat until afterwards. So I would miss the opportunity to actually reply live and have a conversation with you guys live, which is something that I really liked about YouTube live. I keep saying live. Um, but if I can figure out how to do that, if I can figure out how to maybe like log on, I can have like my phone here or something and I'll be reading what's going on and that way I can talk to you guys while I'm putting the stickers down, then let me know if you'd want to see something like that. Because then maybe next week, the first week of September, instead of doing a video like this, which is what I usually do, which is, you know, I record, I edit, and I upload it, maybe I'll do it live. But that depends on you guys. You guys let me know, and if you have any suggestions for how I can keep up with the chat, considering that my tablet is gonna be facing down at the book and I won't be able to look at it, let me know that too. Now that all of that is out there, <laughs> let me show you guys the stickers that I'm gonna use for this week. So this kit is called Rainy Days. It's from Beautiful Planning. And I have a code that you can use for Beautiful Planning that gets you 15% off everything in her shop. So that code is MAMAFRIENDLY15. You just put that in at checkout and like I said, 15% off everything in the shop. There's all sorts of awesome Halloween and fall kits going up right now and I am just so in love with each and every one of them. So go check that out if you're the sort of person that likes to print your stickers. That's definitely my favorite way to go as you might know by now because you get so many stickers for way cheaper. Once you own the file, you can print it over and over again as many times as you like. It's just kind of a no-brainer for me. Like, I don't know why you'd pay 10, 15, 20 dollars per week for printed stickers when you could spend four or five bucks, not including that discount, and get stickers that you can use over and over again. But I digress, as I tend to do. Like I said, this kit is called Rainy Days, and I thought it was appropriate for the end of August because I am in South Florida, and so this is very much peak rainy season. We don't really have seasons here per se, as far as the traditional fall, summer, spring. We just have variations of summer where the only way that you can tell what time of year it is is just how humid it is outside. Peak humid right now. And I did the crop method with these stickers, which I do every week, and I always post a link in the description box to a video that shows you guys how I do the crop method. 
basically all that it means is that I don't need seven or eight or nine pages worth of stickers for how I plan. So I condense it down into like two, sometimes three pages, and that way I save ink and paper by only printing the stickers I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use. So right here we have our full boxes. We've got our bottom washi, which is this really, really cute like blue and pink and white floral that kind of reminds me of a pattern that you'd see on like a kid's umbrella or a raincoat and I just thought that was really cute. Down here I have my YouTube stickers, which are not part of the kit, but they are also available in Beautiful Planning's shop. So if that's something you're interested in, you can get those there as well. And then my second sheet is just my dates, some birthday balloons, which I doubled up on. There's a lot of birthdays this week. My days, quarter boxes, glitter headers, sidebar, like longer full box for here, weekend banner, deco. And then I did have two canceled stickers, but I already had to yoink one for last week. We had a lot of cancellations last week and our habit trackers. Yeah, the last week was our last week in this county before school starts. Today's actually the very first day of school. So um, yeah, I guess everybody was trying to get their last little bit of vacation on before school starts. But yeah, we're homeschoolers, so that doesn't really directly affect us, except for the fact that now my husband's gonna have to leave to work about 10, 15 minutes earlier because the traffic situation is about to get bonkers again starting tomorrow. And this is our first time back to, or not our, I say our, like the collective hour, because like I said, we're homeschoolers, but the county, I believe the state, but I know for certain the county is going back to 100% in-person learning and they've just decided that they're going to mandate masks for everybody on campus, regardless of vaccine status, which I honestly think is the prudent thing to do, seeing as we are at the epicenter of the Delta variant. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty scary thing. Honestly, I really wish that they would have at least given the option for virtual school. And if I'm being completely frank, which in case you're new, that's something that you can expect from me. I don't typically pull punches with my opinions or anything on this channel. Um, if I'm completely honest, I am predicting that the way that things are going, we're going to be back to 100% virtual by Christmas break. I don't think that the way that things are going down here and especially the way that they're being handled down here, I don't think it's realistic to expect that we're gonna go the entire school year 100% in person the way that they're starting out. Um, yeah, it's it's very unfortunate. Like I don't, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that I'm not right about that because if I am right about that, that means that things have gotten even worse than they already are. And we've been consistently hitting over 20,000 new cases a day for close to a month at this point. So things are certainly not going well down here. But, um, okay, sorry, interrupting my spiel. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this sticker as my anchor picture up here, only because there's a little candle here and the candle says rainy days. And I'm a sucker for using any stickers that actually have the name of the kit, focus please, on them for my anchor picture. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just right there on the candle. And of course I took it out of focus again. <laughs> Trust me, it's there if you couldn't see it. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, I really hope I'm wrong because things are already going pretty bad. And if me being right means that things get worse, I would rather be wrong. But I just honestly don't think the way that things are going that we're ready for going back to in-person at all but I have no control over that. And because there's not really a whole lot of supports in place for parents that wanna keep their kids at home, I understand why they're sending them back. I just really wish that there were alternatives and that there were supports in place because the last thing we want is to realize that this was not a good plan at the expense of the safety of our kids. So. 
now that I've gotten all that out and y'all know how I'm feeling about today as the first day of back to in-person learning, let me go ahead and put down my day covers. Okay, so there's all of my date covers down. And yeah, while I was putting these down, obviously I can't help but continue to think about what I was just talking about. Um, I have a, my best friend, one of my best friends lives in Florida, but she lives upstate. And so her kids have been back to school for a little over a week now, I think. And she's already received an email from her daughter's school, letting her know that her daughter did not come directly in contact with anyone that has COVID, but that somebody at school has already tested positive. And so they already alerted everybody in that person's class or anybody that would have directly come in contact with that person so that they could quarantine. Um, but they just wanted to let all of the parents know what was going on for the sake of transparency, which like I said, that took less than a week before somebody at her school came down, not came down with a case, but tested positive for the case. And then somebody else I know that lives upstate, um, her daughter was sent home sick, I think on like her third day of school or something. And her daughter's only five years old. As of right now, I don't know if she's tested positive or not. The last I heard, they were going to get her tested, but they were kind of like, you know, I can imagine the stress of having to get a five-year-old tested for COVID. So they weren't like, you know, they hadn't gotten around to it yet, but the girl was at home anyways. So, but yeah, I mean, all, all that to say, <laughs> evidence for why I feel it's an educated guess that we're not gonna make it to Christmas break before hopefully the officials do right by the kids and say, listen, this is not gonna work this way. We have to come up with something else. Because my concern is that, and I'm getting into politics now and I'm not sorry. If this is not your thing, then please feel free to click away. This is my channel. This is the sort of thing I talk about, whether it's a vlog or a planner video or anything else. Um, unfortunately, even in the face of facts and data, the government in Florida has not really done right by the people. They've done right by their optics and you know, children notwithstanding, right? Because the governor's children go to a private school where masks are mandated and so on, and that's fine. And then he can stand there and say, oh, but your kids don't need that same protection. So whatever, I'll get off my soapbox now. Let's go ahead. And this is like the worst, I'm so sorry, by the way, if this is your first ever planner video on my channel, they're not usually this way, or at least not to this extent. Um, but yeah, I have a lot on my mind today, obviously. Let's go ahead and put down my glitter headers. Okay, so there's my glitter headers, and I really like the colors. I feel like I haven't really talked a whole lot about the kit thus far, but the colors are really, really cute. I love the pastel vibe, but it's very, you know, it's subtle, it's muted. I feel like it's a nice kind of segue into fall. I believe I said the same thing for last week's kit, but yeah, I'm just really liking soaking up this last bit of summer vibes even if it means acknowledging the the plentitude of rain that we typically get during the summer. So my next step is to put down my full boxes and the only thing that I know for sure is that I'm going to keep these two separated. You guys might know by now that I don't really love to have super similar stickers together. I prefer to space them out so it kind of balances the look of the spread. And um, I actually almost printed this one out again as a full box. And then I realized, wait, it's the exact same art. Let me not do that. So I'm gonna put this one probably, actually, let me just go ahead and do it now. I'm gonna put this one all the way over here so that it's as far as possible from the sidebar. And that way, like I said, it's kind of balancing everything out. 
The rest of the stickers, there's nothing in particular that's drawing me to put any given sticker on any given date in particular. So I'm just gonna kind of throw them out there and see what happens. Okay, so I don't usually make any sort of a pattern with the full boxes. In fact, I typically try to randomize them as much as possible, but I don't know why this just like seemed like a whimsical and cute thing to do. So sure, we got a little W going there. And um, let me see, what else have we got? So pretty much now I want to put down my birthday stickers and I wanna put down my YouTube stickers. I'm gonna put down the YouTube stickers first because they typically go at the bottom of the box for me. That's how I like to do it. So obviously Monday, you're seeing this plan with me. Tuesday, you should be getting a vlog, my weekend in the life. So there's that. No new video on Wednesday as per usual, but we will have a video on Thursday that I actually haven't recorded yet, so I better get on that because I have to obviously record it and edit it before Thursday. But I've had a few people comment on a video I did a couple years ago on how and why I homeschool my nonverbal son who's on the autism spectrum. And people are basically asking for updates. And I'm more than happy to provide those updates because some things have definitely changed. So I want to kind of organize myself because it's a lot of information and get that video out for you guys on Thursday. So that's the plan. Friday, we have a cookbook collab, which I've been doing monthly. They're hosted by Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. So looking forward to that. And then that means on Saturday, we're going to have another vlog, which will be the week in the life. So that's the plan as far as my videos. And now the last thing I wanna put down are my birthdays. So on Monday, we have two birthdays actually. I have a cousin on my mom's side and an aunt on my dad's side that are both having birthdays on Monday. One of my besties kiddos is having a birthday on Tuesday. Oops, that went down super crooked. Hold on, because I'm not gonna be able to stand looking at that all week. That's better. And then my other bestie also has a kiddo who has a birthday this week. His birthday's on Friday. So that's the birthdays for the week. There's my YouTube schedule for the week. Let's put down some balloonies. So we'll put one there. We'll put one here, very cute. We've got a boop and a boop. And now I'll go in, usually the day of, and put down stickers for my son's therapy schedule. We are going back to our full, full, full schedule this week. All of the therapy centers are open again. Uh, so it's gonna be a very busy week and <laughs> it's the beginning of many busy weeks because this is not something that's happy happening on like a temporary basis. This is just going to be the way from now on. But I do like to wait until the day of to put down my son's therapy appointments because there tends to be a lot of last minute changes. Unfortunately, there's a lot of last minute cancellations or reschedules, it happens a lot. And even if I wait until the day of, sometimes I still do have to use a canceled or rescheduled sticker. And I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just not waste the sticker to begin with. So that's going to happen as the week goes on, which is why I say to come back for those planner flip throughs so you can see how the week actually turned out. And then at the end of the week, I like to go through my phone and my camera. I print out whatever photos I absolutely loved on any given day on my Canon Ivy, which I did a demo slash unboxing and a comparison to my Polaroid Zip, which is what I've been using up until now. I'll post the link to that video up here in case you're interested in that. But I print out those pictures, I put them in these empty boxes, and then whatever space is left after even that, that's where the deco comes in. So. 
Safe to say we're done with the spread for now. I feel like the kit really like encompasses the vibe for the week. Maybe because it's like very cozy, but rainy. And like I said, we're homeschoolers, so we're not really going anywhere. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really cute and I really like the colors. I'd love to know what you guys are up to this week. Are your kiddos going back to school this week? Do they already go back? How's that going for you guys? Is there a virtual option where you are? And if so, did you opt into it? Or is everybody going back in person? I know that as it stands right now, especially with Delta, Florida is up there with cases. So I'm really curious how things are looking in other parts of the country or even in other parts of the world. So I would love to hear from you. And as always, I hope that you are all staying happy and healthy and safe. Please wear your masks. Please maintain social distance where you're able. If you don't like a mask, you're really not gonna like a ventilator. And as we've seen with this variant, vaccination status is important, but it's only a piece of the puzzle. People that are vaccinated can still catch and spread COVID. So please, for yourself and for the people around you, wear your masks. So that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thank you so much again for watching and have a great week. Bye!